Hello friends, welcome to the last episode of Financial Literacy uh, Drive by Yes Securities. So today I will be touching base on a very very basic thing as to what exactly financial literacy is. Do we really understand financial literacy and do we give a too much importance to the word financial literacy? So let me give you a small example. We all know what is butter. Yeah, we all know what is butter and we all know what is fly. But when you join these words it's a different meaning altogether that it's a butterfly similarly let's say take another example we know what is bed we know what is spread but when you join these two words it's a bed spread as it's completely different meaning similarly we know what is finance and we know what is literacy obviously in the country literacy rate is a struggle but we know what is finance and we know what is literacy but financial literacy is something which we really need to focus on which I feel that we don't start the subject because we think we know the subject but unfortunately that's a subject which we don't know why we don't know this is because probably we don't give that kind of an importance to the subject let's look at one more example out here on what is the importance of financial literacy on the aspect that Every single product which is there, every single asset class which is there as far as an investment opportunity is concerned is not bad. But is it suitable for me is one thing which the coach or the guide or a financial doctor uh, tells us. Look at diet chart of uh, a diabetic guy. Uh, everybody's diet chart is kind of a pie. You know, so what he can eat, what he cannot eat. So for a diet chart for a diabetic, maybe how much protein he can take, maybe how much carbs he can take maybe how much uh, roughage he can take and maybe how much sweet he can take it is important he can't ignore a sweet but that's on a proportion is decided by a dietitian similarly if i'm a player i need a different set of maybe my protein intake has to be higher maybe my sweet intake has to be lower because i need lean muscles maybe my roughage has to be little lesser and maybe my carb has to go up you know, so who decides this? There is an expert who is a dietitian, a doctor who tells us what is best for you in the category which you are into, in the kind of an activity which you are involved into. So that's what friends is importance of financial literacy. It is important for us to spend that kind of in time and energy and also some amount of money to be involved with one of the best financial advisors available. There are many and as I said in the diet chart, there is no asset class which is good or bad. But what suits you, what combination suits you completely depends on who you are, what's your lifestyle, what are you expecting out of it and what is your goal in life. So it all depends on that. Uh, the combination of asset classes is purely dependent on who you are and how you want to shape your uh, finances for you and what are you expecting out of those finances. Thank you so much.